Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Recently, Dutch lithography machine giant ASML announced that the world's first second-generation high-NA EUV lithography machine EXC 5200B was officially delivered to Intel in the United States. This news is like a bombshell, causing a stir in the global chip industry. This crown jewel of industry, with a price of 3 billion yuan and weighing 150 tons, not only marks the entry of semiconductor manufacturing technology into a new dimension, but also reflects the fierce collision between technological blockade and independent innovation under the game of major powers. The breakthrough of ASML EXE 5200B lies in its 0.55 numerical aperture NA, design, which, in conjunction with the optimized projection optical elements jointly developed by Zeiss, increases the resolution from 13 nanometers to 8 nanometers. This means that chip manufacturers can integrate 2.9 times more transistors in the same area and achieve a 1.7 fold size reduction. For Intel, this device will become the core equipment for its 14A process, equivalent to 1.4 nanometers, risk production, in 2027, winning a critical time window for it to compete with TSMC and Samsung for processes below 3 nanometers. The cost of technological leap is equally staggering. A single device costs more than $340 million, twice the price of an ordinary EUV lithography machine. What's more serious is that ASML currently has an annual production capacity of only 10 to 20 units, and reservations must be made several years in advance. This double barrier of technological monopoly plus scarce production capacity is reshaping the global semiconductor industry landscape. As a long-term ally of ASML, it is no coincidence that Intel has taken the lead this time. In 2022, when TSMC and Samsung were still evaluating the economic feasibility of high NA technology, Intel had decisively placed an order for the first EXE 5200 system. According to its technology roadmap, the device will enter large-scale mass production in 2028, directly competing with TSMC's A14 process, expected to be mass-produced in 2028. This technological generation gap may help Intel regain its dominance in chip manufacturing the last time it led TSMC was in 2014 at the 14 nanometers node. Facing Intel's offensive, TSMC and Samsung have adopted completely different strategies. TSMC chose gradual upgrade and continued to optimize 0.33 NAEUV technology on the A14 process to reduce cost risks through mature processes. This steady route is consistent with its leading position in Foundry in 2023. It occupied 59% of the global wafer foundry market, with customers, including giants such as Apple and Qualcomm, and a relatively low technical tolerance rate. Samsung is betting on overtaking on the curve, spending 500 billion won to introduce the first EXE. 5000 equipment, the first generation of high NA EUV, aiming at 2 nanometers mass production in 2025. If successful, Samsung will surpass TSMC in advanced processes for the first time, but the high R&D costs, estimated to exceed 20 billion US dollars, and yield problems, the current 3 nanometers yield is only 60%, still need to be broken through. Foreign media, TSMC and Samsung have parted ways. While global giants are fighting for a few nanometers of process, China's semiconductor industry is facing a more basic challenge, even the purchase of ASML's DUV lithography machine, which is one generation behind, has been repeatedly obstructed. The core shackles behind this are the Wassenaar Arrangement, an export control alliance composed of 33 Western countries, which lists EUV lithography machines as technology critical to national security and prohibits exports to China. Data shows that among China's imported lithography machines in 2023, ASML's DUV equipment accounted for 85%, but the most advanced models such as NXT, 
2050 IR still restricted. What's more serious is that the United States is pushing to include DUV technology in the scope of control, trying to completely cut off China's path to advanced process capabilities. This technological decoupling has forced China to embark on the road of independent innovation. Shanghai Microelectronics 28 nanometer lithography machine has entered the customer verification stage, and the SSMB UV light source technology developed by the Chinese Academy of Sciences is expected to bypass ASML's patent barriers, while Huawei, SMIC, and other companies are also achieving curve overtaking through chip stacking, advanced packaging, and other technologies. Historical experience shows that technological blockades often become catalysts for independent innovation. After Japan encountered U.S. semiconductor suppression in the 1980s, it developed the world's leading EUV lithography technology through a national system, although it was eventually surpassed by ASML. South Korea broke the U.S.-Japan monopoly in the field of memory chips, relying on the semiconductor revitalization plan, led by the local area. For China, breaking through the bottleneck of lithography machines requires a three-pronged approach. Increase investment in basic research. EUV lithography machines involve more than 5,000 parts, of which core components, such as light sources, dual workbenches, and objective lens systems still rely on imports. It is necessary to establish a collaborative innovation system between industry, academia, and research, focusing on stuck-neck technologies, such as high-power lasers and precision mechanical control. Building an open ecosystem, avoid reinventing the wheel and integrate global resources through investment, mergers and acquisitions. For example, Huawei High Silicon has established a joint laboratory with the Belgian Microelectronics Research Center, IMEC, to accelerate the research and development of materials such as EUV photoresist. Explore alternative technology routes, in addition to EUV, technologies, such as nano-imprinting and electron beam lithography, may become breakthroughs. Japanese companies such as Kioxia and Canon have used nano-imprinting for memory chip production, and the cost is only one-tenth of EUV. The delivery of ASML EXE 5200B once again proves that the semiconductor industry has entered an era of technology is power. When Intel returns to the top with its first mover advantage, and when TSMC and Samsung fight for a few nanometer processes, China needs to maintain strategic focus, it must have the patience to sit on the bench for 10 years to break through basic technologies, and it must also have the wisdom to change lanes and overtake to open up new tracks. Only by firmly grasping the technological autonomy in our own hands can we be invincible in the global semiconductor game. Overall, 3 billion per unit. The world's top lithography machines are being shipped, Intel is ahead of the curve, and TSMC and Samsung have parted ways. What do you think about this?